So welcome back to a brand new episode of the Baltimore Bandits, my GMO. It's right now we're 21 and 8, we won three in a row, 89 team camp, 100 fan interest. We're first in the Eastern Conference and first in the Atlantic Division. So it's been a while since I've played this game, at least this GM mode, because I've been playing MLB The Show 16. I've been doing my Blue Jays franchise mode on the channel, so go check that out after if you like baseball. But that game is very fun, and I got addicted to it. But we're back to playing some 2K here. But let's go check out our position in our division to see who we're ahead of. So Boston second in our con in our division, the 13 to 14 record, not too bad. But all the teams below us are under 500. So. We got a huge lead in our division. That's good. We got to maintain that division and win it this season. But Brooklyn's under them, 10 and 15. Philadelphia is 10 and 17, and the Knicks are 10 and 18. So it's close to the bottom of the division. Whereas the top, not really close at all. We're number one, undisputed, undisputed number one. But conference, we're ahead of Chicago, who's 17 and 18. Then we have Indiana, 17 11. Wizards, 14 and 12. And we have the 500 Milwaukee Bucks at 14 14. Plus, the Pistons and the Magic are at 500, but the West, they're dominating. My God, they're good. The first team under 500 is the Clippers, and they're 12 and 16. So, our, obviously, we're the weaker division. We mean the weaker conference. We've always been the weaker conference. The East has always been way worse than the West. But, looks like Golden State's number one, 2018, 20 and 18 on the season. We're 21 and 8, so, wait, no, 20 and 8, sorry. And we're 21 and 8, so we're number one in the NBA just based on how many wins we have this season so far. But that's going to change very quickly because we have Kyrie Irving out. And that's going to change very fast. But we're seventh in NBA.com's power rankings, fourth in 2Ks, and seventh in Mark Spears. I know why because we dropped for three and four in the past two weeks, and two and two in the last week. So we're not doing too well. We got to try and come back from that damn injury, Kyrie. He's out for a long time, but GM Power Rankings, fourth in the league, I, I could still make number number one. Milwaukee number one at David Ellis. But we gotta go check out where our team is at in the game plan. So Patty Mills has been starting at point guard for the past few games. But I don't know if he's been playing too well though. Patty Mills, we gotta go check out some of the past few games quickly. Just double checking, because I haven't played this in a while, so I gotta look at these box scores. So Patty Mills, he's out of nine points, two for three, not too bad in that game. These losses though, I gotta see where he's at. It's Patty Mills. He's got 10 points. 4 for 11, not too good. 0 for 4 in the 3 point line. That's not good at all. We don't need that. And 3 turnovers, but all of our star players have had turnovers in that game. So it's just a group, terrible effort there. So I'm guessing Patty Mills is good enough to be our starting point guard. Like he's a good player, but Kyrie's is way better. Leaps and bounds better. But he's a good backup though, so hopefully he can back us up and just play good enough until Kyrie comes back because we need Kyrie for that playoff run but Kyrie let's go check him out so injury report Irving's out four to six weeks with a broken left forearm into overall it's not good at all we do not need that at this point of the season but gotta take it we gotta take it and get better that's how a good team survives is they go through adversity like this and they come through we are a good team we've proven it many times before in the past this just proved that we're a better team than ever than ever an average, there you go. But we'll go check out quickly, I guess the prospects. I haven't checked that in a while. So go prospect scouting. Number one. Okay, so Emmanuel Galliardo, a center. He's 20 years old. Beep overall, not too bad. 21.7 points per game average in the college league. A plus potential. In these leagues, it's so annoying because there's a generational talent every year. A plus potential, A plus potential, A plus potential. But I guess if it is a first overall pick, you gotta have some type of potential. Cause you don't want to bust like an A, like an A minus. I guess it's not really a bust, but you want a guy who's good, like B plus and above. So I guess I understand why it's an A plus, but it's annoying when it's an A plus every year. The second Johnny Wells, he's B, uh, B plus overall, small forward slash shooting guard. He's not too bad. 22 years old. He's got a little bit more experience in the college level than Gallardo, but he's got a B plus potential. Not too bad. Looks like his overall is a B plus, but that, we're only 23% scouted, so. We have no idea where Johnny Wells is at, but the rest of these guys, we have no idea who they are. Wait, actually, I guess we do. Philip Miller. B minus overall. Let's see what Philip's at. Uh, a potential, not too bad. So some big centers, big men going in top four. So we have two centers. Actually, no. Top 
At top 5, you have th four big men and one small forward. I like this draft. We can maybe even dip into this draft here with a pick because look at our big man. We don't have too many good ones. We also do have the likes of Thomas Robinson, Ben Simmons. If you count him as a big man, he's pretty big. We have what we call like Stein, and that's about it for centers. So maybe you could dip into this draft and possibly get a backup center. We do have Kevin Looney who could convert to a center, but I'd like to have a true center at our backup position. It's just more comforting. Plus, Willie Cauley Stein's only 80 overall base, so we may we can always get an upgrade over Willie Cauley Stein. He's a fast player, but there's always a better center out there. So maybe we could possibly dip in that draft and get a good big man. Because there's top five, top five, four out of the five are big men. So we need that. We need all of that. So I guess we looked at the prospects, top five at least. We'll dip, we'll go into depth later in the season because right now we have nobody 100% scouted. So it's better to go check out later in the season. But we'll go first and check out business where we're at in our finances. So we're losing 8.7 million. Wait, no, 7.8 million. There you go. So we're losing a little bit of money, but we're we'll easily gain that in the playoff run. Hopefully, if we do make the playoffs without Kyrie. Um, yeah, basically, maybe you can make some trades later on and get risk in that salary so we can possibly sign a good free agent because I heard, wait, is it, can we look at free agents yet? Okay, so we can't look at upcoming, upcoming free agents until, I'm pretty sure after trade deadline, I'm possible, wait, no, contract extensions, that's what it is. So after contract extensions are done, we could possibly look at the up and coming free agents, but we signed most of our big ones. We have two players on player options with Kyrie and Kawhi Leonard, so we gotta watch our money here. We need to make sure we have money to spend on these guys because they're essential to our team. We need Kawhi and we need Kyrie in order to function in this team. The two Ks. But the rest of those guys, we can probably let them go. It doesn't really matter too much. Patty Mills, he's the run of the mill backup point guard. We can always find a Patty a new Patty Mills in town, but I guess we've gone through everything we really need to, so let's go and simulate some more games. But wait. What's this? DeAndre Jordan re-signed with the Warriors, so ever since we traded DeAndre to the Warriors for, I believe, Draymond Green, which then turned into, I think, Ben Simmons, so we got something out of that, but DeAndre Jordan re-signed with the Warriors, three-year deal, $50 million, I like that, he's a good player, I like where he's at there, but anyway, let's go simulate some games, I gotta get through some of these games here, there's like 25 games until we have our trade deadline slash All-Star Weekend, so We'll quickly get through most of these games. And I might play a game and within one of these. I'm not really sure. I'll see where I'm at. And I might play a game. But we'll go and simulate first Simcast this game against the Spurs. Patty Mills for Alan Crabb, TJ McConnell. I don't want to do that. I'm not trading away another first round pick. We got rid of most of our picks early in the franchise. So I don't really want to get rid of more picks. We would be getting Alan Crabb though, good small forward, but we don't need a small forward. We, have, we guess we get TJ McConnell, McConnell back as a point guard, but I like Patty Mills better than TJ McConnell at starting point guard, just based on his potential, his overall, and how good Patty Mills is. But we'll skip on that one. We don't need to take a 76ers trade. We'll go in Simcast's game against the Spurs. We gotta win against them though. The Spurs are old. We need to win against them, and we do. 123 to 103 final. Jason Tatum, 31 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 11 for 20 shooting, 2 for 5 from the 3-point line. Perfect game from Jason Tatum. I like that. Patty Mills, just winner is questioning his performance. He scored 17 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 for 12 shooting, not too bad. Ben Simmons, 16 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, 2, you know, 1 steal, 1 block. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, 13 points, 12 assists for a double-double. Uh, KJ McDaniels, 13 points in 7 minutes. Kawhi, 11 points. Willie Cloy Stein, 11 rebounds in the day. So not too bad of a performance by us, we win that game obviously, but it's good. And against a former LeBron James, former Cav LeBron James. 24 points for LeBron, 5 rebounds, 9 assists, 1 steal, 10 for 17 shooting, but Jason Tatum played way better than you LeBron, I'm sorry to say, but Jason Tatum's way better than you. Mark Saldridge, 20 points, 12 rebounds for a double-double, Tony Parker 14, Darren Hillard 12, Jared Smith 10, so we have a few former Cavs with Jared Smith, Darren Hillard, LeBron. Is there any others at all? Any others? I don't think there is, but we win against the Spurs, 123-103 final. And Patty Mills seems to be playing well. We've gone four in a row since dropping Kyrie, so it's good. At least uh, Kyrie getting injured, but we'll skip this game against the Raptors. We'll go in Simcast's big game against the Warriors. We win against the Raptors, 109-103. There you go. Good team status. Okay, Kevin Looney would like to get some more playing time. Okay. 
titanals, grand range, raise concerns about being overworked at training. I'll talk to Patty Mills, tell him what's up. I don't know if I should really respond to these players with these training because usually it ends up going bad, going sour, and then they go and turn on me. I don't like that, but hopefully I can keep this promise here. Okay, so we'll lower the intensity for Patty Mills. At least the entire team because if you lower the individual training, it doesn't work. You have to lower the entire team training if you're wondering. I did that so many times to lower the player training, they get pissed off me because I didn't lower the entire team's training because they want to be in, in control of all our training, which kind of sucks, but... Kevin Looney, I'll talk to that about talk to you later. But go and uh, lower that team training though. For everybody. So very high, I'll bring that back down to I guess medium at home. I'll bring that down to medium at the way. We're playing well, so maybe we can lay off a bit. We're playing this the Warriors in a few days though, I don't know if we should really be really be doing that. But I guess if we'll keep Patty Mills happy and playing well, I guess we'll take that chance. But We'll go and rate, I guess, I guess we'll coddle Kevin. Really don't want to mess up the lineups here. We're playing well. They're functioning well. We don't really want to change anything up here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly what my philosophy is with this one move. But we'll go and Simcast his game against the Warriors. We just won five in a row. 91 team Kevin, we're playing well. Got to maintain the speed in the series, in the season, and keep continue to play well. The department on your staff needs the most work. Uh, I like our scouting. Go we'll train. Trainer always needs to get better. I don't know if I should really blame the trainer on Kyrie's injury, but I'll just blame it on him. Just easier, easier to blame on the trainer than it is on me for the for his play. But we'll go and simulate this game against the Warriors. Hopefully, we can win this one. I have no idea for a home or away. To check that, I didn't check the colors in the background, but. Hey Alex, I'd like to let you know we have a game against DeAndre Jordan coming in at first in rebounds in the league. DeAndre Jordan, I think he's up for DPOY, so they'll watch out for that one. I'll look at our lineup. I think we're good. Kevin Looney's getting his minutes. Doug McDermott's playing. Everyone's playing well. So many players on fire. No one is cold, which is good to see. But we'll go check out some of the stuff here. Should we change anything? Kawhi's playing well. Yeah, I just have Kyrie injured, but they have no major injuries. We're playing at Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and DeAndre Jordan in this game. Hopefully we don't get killed. Let's just let's just keep the score close here. We're playing away against the Warriors. They're a very good home team. And they win this one. 115 to 99 final. They're a great home team and we lost that one right there. But Kawhi, 27 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 1 block, for double double, 11 for 15 shooting, 2 for 4 from the 3 point line. I'm not too mad with that performance by Kawhi, but no more 25 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 1 block, 11 for 20 shooting, 1 for 4 from the 3 point line, good performance by LeBron, not LeBron, DeMar DeRozan, and Kawhi Leonard, but Ben Simmons 16 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 block, 5 for 12 shooting, Patty Mills 13 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 steals, Jason Tatum 6 points, Jason Tatum did not play well, my god, 3, three for 13 shooting, can't be having that here, I'm sorry. But our bench didn't really play too well. 1 for 2, shooting 1 for 4, 1 for 4, 1 for 4. Not playing too well on our bench. But really call his son, 7 rebounds in the day. And that basically ends it right there. But the Warriors, Clay Thompson, 28 points. Steph Curry, 26. Harrison Barnes, 15. DeAndre Jordan, 13 points. 16 rebounds for a double double. Man, that's a pretty big total. But let's we'll skip that one. Jason Tim believes practices are too easy. One minute they think it's too easy and think it's too we're being overworked. And the next minute, they think that it's too easy. It doesn't make sense here. Just play at a happy medium. Come on, guys. Come on. Just trust Patty Mills, Jason. Just trust him. There's a reason why I made those changes, but we'll go. Oh, you more again. Ah, uh, how many days we have left on that damn promise to Patty Mills? How many days? Five days. We gotta simulate five days. Let them complain. God, that sucks. I'll sim guess this game against the Minnesota Timberwolves just because we lost one. Hopefully we can get, on ba get back on track and win this game. We need to win this one against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, we lost that one. 84 to 71 final. We did not play well. It was a low scoring game. 23 to 10 on the season. We did not play well. I'm not even going to go through these stats. Trash. These are horrible. My god. But Wiggins 19 points. Yeah, nobody really played well for anybody. It was a rough game, but somehow the Timberwolves came on top. But simulate 8 for 8 and 
22 Suns. If we don't win against the Suns, I don't know who we'd win against next. But wishlist goal improves Sam Brown's trust in you. Get it to 8.59 or higher. Are you kidding me? Sam Brown hates me. I have no idea who Sam Brown is. I know he's on my staff, but usually everyone hates me for some reason. I, don't, I have no idea why, but I'll check out Sam Brown here quickly. Where's Sam? Sam Brown, Sam Brown. Walter Forrest, Tim Duncan. Uh, who's Sam Brown? David Blatt. I'm guessing this is Sam Brown right here. Is he your CFO? Come on, Sam. Just chill here. Come on. Is he really ticked off at me, though? Assistant GM. Of course he is, because I'm not making moves. Hey, Samuel. I really appreciate you stopping by. I'd like to discuss something with you. What's up? Uh, just believe in me, man. Just believe in me. Gotta put the belief in me. Come on. Wait, 59 or higher. I gotta do it again. Come on. It sucks. I should have done that Kool-Aid one where he's drinking the Kool-Aid. Because that'd probably make it... I think I made up to 100 if you do that Kool-Aid one, but... I'd rather just not waste that one on Sam Brown because... It's just our assistant GM. I can always fire him after the season if I don't like him, but... Go we'll check this out, and we'll increase that by 15. Team Spirit, come on, get it, Sam. Get it. But we go and increase Sam Brown's trust. We got that goal completed by the owner. So I'm happy with that. But we'll go and simulate more days until we can finally get rid of that damn uh, training thing. We'll go and simcast this game against the, the Suns. If we lose this freaking game, I don't know what we're going to win. Come on, we're on the road. Win this one. A close one. 119-111 final. We almost choked in the fourth quarter. My god, it sucks. Jason Tatum, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals. Uh, Kawhi, 20, 20 points. Demar, 19 points, 10 assists for a double-double. Ben Simmons, 18 points, 9 rebounds. Almost a double-double. Uh, and Kevin Looney, 13 boards in the day. My god, Kevin Looney, you're a beast. And 5 offensive in that one. Uh, total 2. But Willie Colley Stein, 7 rebounds in the day. And that's basically about it for our stats. For the Suns, Isaiah Whitehead, their only chance at doing anything 21 points two rebounds one steal and one turnover it's basically about it for the suns they suck otherwise but check out that promises again i have no idea when we have to finally do that three more days including the so i'll guess i'll simulate up to this january 6th lakers clippers i hopefully we can get the win on these ones come on now borak wants to talk about it come on man just hold on Hold on, man. Just hold on. Be right with you. Gotta win this. We gotta win this against the Lakers. We can't take the L on this game. We can't take the L against the Lakers. It's the most embarrassing thing. Uh, check this out. Do nothing. We don't really need to do anything. We'll deal with it in five, three more days. We lose against the freaking Lakers. My God. And the bet. What is this? Jason Tatum for a first round pick and Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant's a great player and all, I like him. We had him on the squad a few years back, but we're not giving up Jason Tatum for him. Are you kidding me? This offer is terrible. It might look good with the stars, but I overvalue Jason Tatum by a lot, and that's not even close to what my value is for him. So, I'll decline that one from the Grizzlies. Just please win this one against the Clippers. Come on. We took the L against the freaking Clippers. My, ah, oh, I gotta stop complaining. Something's not working here. We've lost two in a row. We're still number one in our division, number one in the conference, but we're in the East, though, man. We can't be losing in the East. So, Jason Tatum is unhappy about his current role within the organization. He plays small forward. We are at a crossroads with Jason Tatum. No idea where we're going with him. Check out our lineup just to see where we're at, because it's just a mess here. So, he's our sixth man. We got Ben Simmons starting at small forward, obviously. We got DeMar shooting guard. I'm holding on to ben, to Jason Tatum just for the season because I have no idea if DeMar is going to stay or if he's going to go in two seasons. So I need that backup insurance plan for DeMar DeRozan. And I don't want to pull a James Harden type thing where we let him go just before he hits his prime and then he goes and just dominates his new team. I don't want that to happen. I'm not pulling an OKC in this position here. We're leaving our sixth man as our sixth man. And Jason Tatum is going to like it no matter what. I think Jason Tatum has his team option on in the last year DeMar has it, so hopefully we can re-sign Jason Tatum or DeMar DeRozan. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but upcoming free agents, finally, we can look at this. So Kawhi Leonard, Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, Russell Westbrook, Marcus Gasol, Check Diallo, Kemba Walker, Kevin Love, Nikola Vucevic, 
uh, Kyrie Irving, Ricky Rubio, Sergei Ibaka, Jason Tatum. He's not uh, he's not a free agent because he's got his team option. You're not <clears throat> Jason Tatum. Just stop being emotional, please. Don't be that emotional train wreck that everyone has on the team. Don't be that man, please don't. Just can't be that person. But Jalen Brown, Al Jefferson, Drew Holiday, Harrison Barnes, Matthew Delvadova, and so on and so forth. So we got some pretty good free agents looking right there, but most of them are gonna have all right, extremely high loyalty, and I don't. Butler's leaving, Westbrook's leaving, Gasol's leaving, Check the is leaving because he's on a team option. Kemba Walker, Kevin Love, and basically everyone. There's not gonna be a single player that's gonna be entering the free agency unless it's one of our own in Kyrie or Kawhi. So I gotta watch out for Kawhi. You better not be looking. Hey, he wants to resign. That's good. So we'll go. Wait, I'll check Ben Simmons. He likes our team because he grew up a fan somehow, even though he didn't even exist. I think he might mean the Cavs though by the Bandits, but okay, Ben Simmons. We say what he wants to say, but Jimmy Butler, he wants to come back. Okay, Russell Westbrook wants. To Let's see what he's worth in the open market. It'd be crazy if Russell Westbrook entered the free agency. Imagine that. It'd be insane. Everything would just be fireworks everywhere here. But Marcus Gasol, really don't care where he goes. Check Diallo. He's on the team option, obviously. Kemba Walker. I could see Kemba leaving for some reason, just because the Heat aren't playing well. But he might test his value. Kevin Love wants to resign, obviously. Nikola Vucevic. Free agency might be the best decision. Kyrie, they agree that he resigning with the Bandits is a career move, and that's a bit. Jason Tatum is also obviously pissed off at me because somehow he's being that emotional person that nobody wants on their team. Nobody wants that. But look, cool. we finally got that promise from Patty Mills gone, so we could finally go and talk to these players about increasing that training intensity. Talk to Borak, tell him what's up, saying we're increasing that training intensity, and I'll have to go check it check out Jason Tatum and tell him that everything's okay and give him his soother because he's acting like a baby right now. So, increase intensity and we'll go talk to Jason Tatum, tell him that he's being a jerk and there. Come on. I wonder what it's going to say for his options. Probably going to say, don't make Jason T don't make Jason mad. Like he's the Hulk or something. Is he going to say that? Is he going to say that? Oh, okay, he wants to be a starter. I cannot do that. Denying Coddle because they don't want to mess up the team. Even their team's messed up right now. It's just completely destroyed. We're not going to trade him. No comment. I'm not talking to the damn media for this. Media is the wrong person to talk to. You don't want to be that person who talks to the media and just give them all the scoop they want. Got to keep it low key here in Baltimore. But we'll go and talk to your man, Jason Tatum. He's not feeling good. He's under the weather right now because he wants to be a starter and we're not giving him that here in Baltimore, but he's a perfect six man. We're giving him the minutes. Who cares if he's on the starting lineup? That doesn't matter. As long as you play well, that's what matters. So let's hit him up with one of these lightest spark pitches, which is the only one we have left. So we upped him to a 76 overall in my morale. Hopefully he plays well. He sucked the past few games. He's playing like trash, but he comes back and plays well. I think our lineup's decent at this point. Who's playing well right now? Borok's playing like trash. Off, lower him. We'll give Rolly Atkins more of a chance. Or Rolly Alkins more of a chance. And I think that's good. So we have a, our six man playing 32 minutes. Patty Mills playing 23. DeMar playing 36. Ben Smith's playing 36. And Kawhi playing 38, carrying the load offensively. So should we have Kevin Looney playing more minutes? Because a big man's not playing too many minutes here. Alora guards a bit. Tom, wait, Thomas Robinson needs minutes. KJ McDaniels, lower him. Doug, lower him. Give Kevin some more minutes here. Kevin needs more. There you go. So I think it's good giving Ke big men more minutes because they, we need more uh, more rebounds. That's for sure. Our team's good when it comes to rebounds, but we're not good enough. So I guess we'll simulate right up to here. We are not playing too many good teams here. It's kind of a slow start here. We're playing the Bulls. Okay, so it's a good one. 9 and 26 heat. I'll skip up to this one. Hopefully we win some of these games. We won against the Jazz. There we go. 92 to 69 final. We dominated them. Thomas Robbins is not happy with the minutes he's getting. He says that every five seconds. Just calm down, Thomas. Maybe you could trade him at the deadline for a pick or something, because he's being annoying. Actually, I don't know if a trade for a 
pick would be that bad because because you want a guy for the playoffs. We want we need some more big men for the playoffs. I'd rather trade a guard than Thomas Robinson just due to how much big men are worth in the playoffs. Most of our guards will get tired and then we'll have nobody rebounding. So I'd rather resign. We get some more guards in town, but we'll skip the Heat game and skip up to this Bulls game. Got to win some of these games though against the Heat. The Heat are a good rival, I think. They're a rival last year. We won the season series against the Miami Heat. That's good. We lost against the Nets. God damn it. We lost against the Nets, but we went three in a row at that point, so that's not too bad. We take, we take three W's and take one L, so it's not too bad. We can look at that, but 17 and 19 Nets. That's not good enough. You got to win against these bad teams here with the Nets. But Demar played well. And they played better, even though their stats suck. They play better somehow, but we'll go and simulate up, simulate this Bulls game. We'll see where we're at. Are you kidding me, Borok? Oh, I forgot. God damn it. I forgot about Borok. Oh, I got so caught up in Jason Tatum. Damn, I'm sorry, man. I had to talk to Borok, tell him that. I'm sorry. I forgot about him. This time it actually is my fault, not the game's fault. Uh promise to train well. So, oh, I lost some of that confidence from a team. Damn it. I can't be losing that confidence or that trust. Whatever that is, morale. Can't be losing that. Need my team more than ever right now. So we'll up this training intensity because apparently Borak wants to work. I understand that. So we'll go up that to there. There you go. I think we're good. So we're playing against the Bulls. 21-16 Bulls. It's a close Eastern Conference rivalry right here. Let's take this W, and we do 115-110 final. It's a close one. We almost blew it in the fourth. Kawhi, 28 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. Jason Tatum, 23 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 blocks. Jason Tatum is so valuable when you need him. Hitting the line, 10 for 12 shooting, and the free throw line. That's key. That's a key stat right there for free throws. But DeMar, 17 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Ben Simmons, 14 points, 10 rebounds for double-double. Patty Mills, 10 points. Willie Colley Stein, 9 rebounds. Kevin Looney, 10 rebounds. And that's about it for the day. The Bulls, Jimmy Butler, 32 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 block. The only reason why the Bulls are even functioning, Jimmy Butler, exploding offensively, but as you see, their bench sucks. Nikola Mirotic, double-double, but 2 for 11 shooting. You don't need that. 0 for 6 from the 3-point line. That's why they lost right there, is because they're playing from their bench, but even their serves suck too. So go and simulate... I guess it's simulate up to this Warriors game. So they're right there. These teams suck. They do suck. Okay. So sim past all these games right now. Get rid of all of them. We need to take some W's here right now. Kyrie's gone. He's gone for months. We just gotta keep that in the rear view mail. Rear view mail. Rear view. Rear view mail. Rear view mirror. There we go. Finally said it right. But leave that in the rear view mirror and go and look forward. We take that W against the Trailblazers. Win against the Knicks. Close one right there though. We need to get these games up high scoring. But I guess if you don't have your shooting guard in your top shooting point guard, you're not going to play well. But we just got to function past that. Thomas Robinson, oh, four to six weeks. No broken finger. Another one. Oh, he could play through it, but his overall has to suck right there. His hands must be very low. Yeah, we're not playing Thomas Robinson. Even though we need a big man right now, we can't be playing him. We'll play Rolly Elkins, though. He's kind of... He's got a decent size to him. Play him. Everyone's drained, though. Holy crap. Borok, what do you do to the team? We gotta lower some of that trading intensity here. They're getting wiped out. We're 3-13 and in the season. I like that, but team is shot when it comes to energy. It takes some energy drinks here. Get some Gatorade into the system here. Just gotta clean up the system, get some more Gatorade in here. Come on, there you go. Bring in training, team training. And lower this, please. There we go. We'll leave that high. Wait. Make a plane when it's at medium, but leave it at high, high. That should help out a bit, but we'll go and simulate up to this dubs game. We'll see where that. We win against the Magic. There we go. Four in a row. Oh, we lost it against the Celtics. That sucks. But I guess I'll end this episode off right here. Everyone's complaining with that damn training. I'm pissed off. Uh, I'll pick coaching staff. There we go.
They're gonna throw their players into the bus, but I guess I'll only have this episode off for here, so make sure to like and subscribe for more bandits. Ultimate more bandits, my GM mode, and thanks for watching, and I will see you later.